on paper. However, I think they maybe think that the boos are a cheer because they get them so many times. Chris Ram will be looking to impress. He's looking for a title fight on this show, so he will be looking to impress. Comes from the Moss Side Ground and Pound there with Danny Ram. Got an excellent camp. They've got some great fighters coming through and really building into a strong Manchester gym there. Moss Side Ground and Pound are a very well established camp. They turn out good fighters, they turn out very tough fighters. They have absolute wars, inspiring sessions. They're noted for the submission skills and for the ground game, so I'd expect to see Chris look to take this fight to the floor at some point in the near future. Certainly how the stand-up game's going. He's having a lot of success on the feet up to now. Yeah, and I think the thing is that the two of us, uh, Zoukas, he comes from Antonio's gym, they've got good stand-up, but Chris came out and he, fair play to him, he's come out and he's thought, no, I've got stand-up too, and he's worked his stand-up. He's probably going to want the fight to go to the floor, but he wants to prove at first that he's got that stand-up. And look at he's doing that right now with a great combination of punches. Ah, Torres did well to avoid that right hand. That could have been a fight finish of that. Yeah, he did. And really good. Some good stand-up here. He doesn't want to be showboating too much. He don't want to get caught by one of these guys. But at the moment, it's all Chris Ram. Ah, Torres is also doing a good job of blocking those leg kicks. I'd like to see Chris set those kicks up with his hands a bit more before letting them go. Oh, he's come out with some shots of his own there, Arturis. Nice. Gets the takedown. Can Chris Ram reverse it? Or is he looking for guard? He's got the full guard. Right, let's see. I'd like to see Chris Ram attacking now. We'll probably see some of Chris's submission skills now, or some jiu-jitsu skills. Certainly so at the moment we've got Atura Zukas in the guard of Chris Ram of Moss Side Ground and Pound. Zukas is already allowing his left arm to become isolated. He's not doing much to achieve good posture. Chris Ram's right in his element here. There you go, he's going yep. for the armbar. He's bar. looking for a triangle for the arm, switching for the armbar. He needs to hook that leg. He needs to keep his knees tight in together. If he gets picked up like that again, he needs to take one arm off, hook the leg, stop himself getting lifted. Obviously, it's easy to say that sitting outside the cage. It's a lot different to have that presence of mind. Certainly at the moment, he's doing well though. He's got good head control. He's got his legs nice and tight. So he can keep working those legs up for the submissions. See how he's getting the grapevine hooks as well, so he can just offset the balance of Zoukas. He's going and his beautiful sweep. sweep. That was a fantastic sweep. Textbook Jiu-Jitsu. I'd, I'd love to see sweeps in MMA. He showed a nice range of skills there. He attacked from the guard. Thought I didn't quite get the submission, so he's got the top position here, and this is perfect you MMA. Know, the butterfly sweep is like a solely underused technique in mixed martial arts. We don't see it a lot at all levels of the fight game. Certainly, I think it's very good for, for giving the fighters distance. You can use it to pull a, a fighter back from his sit up, so you can work a stand up. You can also use it for the sweeps. It's an excellent technique. Have you found in your own pro fight career that um, you rely more on close guard or like a distant open guard? Do, do, do fighters have that feeling that the, the butterfly guard is something that's dangerous to play? I to be honest, if you look at my fight career, I always worked an active attacking guard. I didn't really like the close guard because I feel in professional MMA, if you close someone into your guard, you're closing yourself into a position where you can be punched. So I like to work an active guard. I'd rather uh, attack for a submission and then pass my guard and I try to escape from that position. I'd rather be attacking. I don't like the, um, the sort of sitting in a close guard or staying on top in one position. I like to see constant work and that's what we're seeing here now from Chris Ram. He's working from that side control, he's looking to better his position, he's working some strikes, he's looking for the submissions. This is great, really nice um, jiu-jitsu I think for MMA. He's possibly looking to isolate that left arm of Zoukas. Yeah, the, the right arm, sorry. Or the left or the far arm? I was looking, yeah, I was looking at the far arm. Perhaps oh, he's got the mount position. Now watch, this is where pro MMA separates from semi-pro. These big elbows, big punches. This fight could be over right now, John Joe, if he can land some good, solid shots. Zoukas is booking his hips and trying to bridge, but he needs to keep his feet on the floor. You can see the corner going crazy from Moss Side Ground and Pound. I think he just needs to get a little bit more accuracy in these shots. He can work these shots in. He could get a stoppage here. He's got so much control there. He's not getting booked off. He just needs to land a few good, solid shots. My opinion in this position, throw a flurry and then try and get a couple of solid ones at the end of your flurry because it stands out to the to the referee the referee just needs the excuse to stop the fight if the guy underneath is not defending which at the moment Zoukas is not doing Chris Ram taking his time I'm sure his corner will be very conscious of the time left in the round and be shouting to him 
There you see the 10 second knocker. He needs to just go for something here. 10 seconds left. Just go for something. He's got the round in the bag already. He's got nothing to lose. That's it. There we go. The end of the round. He maybe left that a little bit too late going for that armbar. But there, that was a completely dominating first round from Chris Ram. Yeah, I think he's got a lot of safer in the bag. He drops off with the armbar at the end, but it was nice to see that he didn't rush his work before that. He's obviously someone experienced in the ground game, used to being in top position. A lot of guys get to that position and they rush, they see the finishing side, they go on, they, they throw everything into it. You saw that recently in the UFC with uh, Shane Carwin when he mounted Brock Lesnar. And he exhausted himself in 20, 30 seconds because he thought the finish of the fight was in the bag. So it was nice, uh, Certainly, but in my opinion is a professional fighter should not be gassing in the first round from getting a mount position. These guys are top level in the UFC getting paid to train and non-stop every day. They should not be gassing. Sorry, Shane. Shane, Shane Carwin actually came out of that fight with bronchitis. The arm triangle that Brock Lesnar finished him with produced enough pressure on the throat it inflamed, I think, the bronchial trachea, it's called. The trachea, yes. The trachea, yeah. The, it caused inflammation. It actually gave him bronchitis, which I've never heard of before. Are you sure he didn't catch it off Brock Lesnar? No, there was a big report about it. He had um, <laughs> severe inflammation of the trachea, but also he had such a lactic acid build-up from his time, they tested his blood or something, and lactic acid built up so much, he collapsed after the fight, and uh, he had the same sort of level of lactic acid as dead bodies have during rigor mortis. That's crazy stuff. Well, Chris Ram was working hard, but I don't think he was quite working that hard, so we should be all right for the second round. No signs of rigor mortis in Chris just yet. And here he comes out, focused for the second round. Really, Aturus, he really needs to work now and get himself into a dominant position, he needs to impose his will on Chris Ram, because if Chris Ram gets a start like he did in the first round, it's going to be all his way. Arturus has scored a couple of clean jabs to start off with. Oh, some nice shots, a right hand and a right uppercut has forced the tourists to shoot in. Chris rocks him then. And straight away Chris attacking for that arm. Nice positioning, can he roll him over? As the tourist managed to weather the storm and get side control. Yes he has. He's oh, passed an instant reversal from Chris. Great movement there from Chris Ram. This shows you hours and hours of mat time. Lots and lots of training here. Chris Ram hips a little bit high. He needs to be aware that he could get swept. But at the moment, I think he's quite confident with his ground game against the Taurus Zucchius. Taurus is holding the headlock from under side control. It's a fairly useless position. It slows and stalemates, but... Um I think more finish. than anything, he's giving away that arm. I think if someone attack, if I've passed someone's guard and they get that head, I start to move around and attack that arm. It's also possible to hit a submission from there. You can walk around for the Von Flew choke and use his own strangling arm to choke him out. That is certainly a favourite of mine. So Chris Ram in that half guard position, we can get some great ground and pound from here. It's an unusual. It's kind of a sort of three quarter uh, pass. And back to the half guard. Not enough action there for referee, referee Trevor Mitchell. Possibly unfair on Chris, he was working to pass the guard and improve his position. I don't think he'll be too bothered, he landed some good shots in the stand-up. It wasn't him that took oh, but he's got hit with a couple back himself. Oh. Looking confident, but he's got caught there. That can be a little bit of complacency, he can get you caught. He's got caught again with some shots. He needs to be very careful. He's These guys... Start moving that head, keep his hands up. Certainly, he's firing the good shots, he's landing the good shots, but just do not get complacent. You cannot get complacent in professional MMA, and now he's got a cut above his eye. He's got a cut above the eye, but also his legs look like he's definitely wobbled, he's definitely yeah. rocked. He's thrown that away a little he's bit, I think. He needs to really get his head back together and get the takedown. He needs to keep that oh. down. This, it, the fight's oh. over. He, seriously there. That was a very I think he threw that fight away.
Ladies and gentlemen, give these two lads a round of applause. What a Sarah! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 22 seconds of round two, your winner, and ladies and gentlemen, by TKO, Juan Antonio's Jimmy London, Arturius Zucca!